With the days moving swiftly toward next Tuesday's election day, the two candidates for the Northampton mayor's post continued their series of face-offs Monday night with the debate sponsored by the Gazette. Incumbent Mayor Claire Higgins and her challenger, City Councilor Michael Bardsley, sparred for two hours over a mix of questions from Gazette staffers and audience members. The exchanges neatly encapsulated their positions on major issues facing the city, and despite an overall air of civility, each candidate took the opportunity to poke hard at the opponent's record. Bardsley sounded themes familiar in this election by now, most notably that his administration would be more inclined to hear city residents' concerns than he says Higgins is. I don't think people should uh, mistake listening as a, as a sign of weakness or a sign of inaction. To me, listening to people, understanding their concerns, and what, does not mean that you're going to uh, be agreeing with them or that you're even trying to please them. So listening is understanding them, and it's also it's an act of respect. You're respecting them as citizens who live here. I can work with a wide range of people with a wide range of opinions. I don't expect people to agree with me. I can also learn from people who have different opinions and different political philosophies. Um, I think the rap on me in this election is because Councilor Barsley is a good listener, I must be a bad listener. And I just don't accept that. I talk to people every day. I've, I've, I've uh, appointed people who don't agree with me to various boards and committees in the city. I've, uh, I've had disagreements with counselors who then have voted with me on, on other issues. I, I, uh, I just don't accept that as a characterization of my leadership style. I think after you're in office for 10 years and you make budget cuts repeatedly, when you tell uh, the city department heads they don't have enough money to do what they want to do, when you have to make difficult decisions where there are no clear winners or losers, like the Smith College overlay, except that, well, there's, well, the city looks like a loser, even though we didn't have the a law on our side, then you upset people. Bardsley also took aim at the city's new downtown business improvement district, a plan for which Higgins pushed strongly, but one that Bardsley says has divided downtown. I don't think the bid is an example of a success story. I think the bid is an example of the failure of city government to address problems downtown. When, you, when they came forward and asked the proponents, the two main reasons they gave is because the maintenance of downtown had declined over the last 10 years, and that is the time frame they used, and that the, the uh, safety issues of downtown had increased over the last 10 years. And those are city responsibilities. So I think we really need to look at the resources that we have, both on the city side and with our citizens, to have a very aggressive economic development program and to bring jobs into this community. State. In terms of the bid, Council Bardsley voted for the bid, and then he voted against the memorandum of understanding because he said it put the, the, the city was paying too much for those services that we were going to offer downtown. The city couldn't offer services downtown because the honor court left unless we paid for them. We worked with the bid proponents to try to move into a new era of how to manage what is arguably the most successful downtown in the region. And, and I think the, bid, the business improvement district is the way to do that. It is the way across the country that successful downtowns have done have managed their 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 uh, infrastructure or their their ambiance, if you want to call it. And you know, Westfield just uh, chose to do a business improvement district. And, and there are other places in the state that are looking at doing it. For her part, Higgins repeatedly linked Bardsley's voting record during her decade-long tenure to her own achievements in office. She also suggested that Bardsley's concerns over a controversial possible expansion of the city's landfill amount to political expediency on an issue she says he's been mostly absent on. I remember hearing you in another debate, debate talk about the fact that we take uh, dirty loads at the, at the uh, landfill, and I wish you had gone and talked to DEP about that instead of bringing it up in a debate. But the, our environmental record is bigger than just the landfill. You know, I've led on preserving farmland. I've led on preserving open space. We, I've led on um, in, uh, supporting sustainable energy in our community. And I've led on um, having moving forward the sustainable Northampton plan to talk about how we develop in our community. So I hope that, uh, that you... Uh, can broaden your interest there because I think it's much bigger than the landfill. When we're on the council, I think uh, council is uh, stake out certain issues that are really important to them. And my issues have been human rights, have been education. 
and increasingly I've been concerned about the environment. The environment isn't one of those issues that were uh, first and foremost, but as I looked at the impact of what the city was doing um, and, or not doing, I became increasingly concerned. And one of them is around the landfill. And early on, issues were being presented to me about how our landfill is being operated. We are not operating our landfill as effectively and as efficiently as it could be operated. I have visited other operations. Um, so I would definitely, uh, that was definitely a, a concern of mine. Thank you for coming. Thank the candidates also addressed a wide range of other issues, from budget pressures and potential school closings to perceptions of increasing class and racial divisions within Northampton. Check Gazette.net's Northampton election page over the next couple of days for clips from the entire debate, question by question. For Gazette.net, I'm Don St. John.